I, I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but I think build crafting in Destiny is kind of lackluster. I know during Lightfall, this wasn't an uncommon sentiment, but after Prismatic, maybe people feel differently. In my opinion, the current sandbox is far too focused on abilities than using, like, two weapons that are only for DPS. I mean, two of the best exotic weapons are Tractor Cannon and Still Hunt. One of them makes your abilities do more damage, and the other gives you a second super. I'm not a game developer, and I'm definitely not saying that I have the answers. And I'm certainly not saying that this is at all easy to fix. It probably isn't. Definitely isn't. But as a player, and as a content creator for Destiny 2, the build crafting bottleneck is kind of a pretty big bummer. When I say that there's a build crafting bottleneck, I mean you're sort of forced to always make an ability build, and for the most part each subclass positions itself into a specific power fantasy with a very specific build. There's a couple exceptions to that, but generally that's how it is. And I'm saying this as someone who plays a lot of Magic the Gathering, mainly the Commander format. If that says anything, it means that I highly value the ability to build around fun mechanics that I like, and I really enjoy having my deck or my build have its own personality and have it be unique compared to everyone else at the table or my fire team, whatever you want the equivalent to be to that. But you can't really do that in Destiny. There's a few different builds, but generally, it's the same thing over and over again. Of course, you can still run non-meta things and build around things that aren't the norm in a subclass or just use subclasses that are outside the norm of the meta. But it just feels worse, generally. Uh, one of the big things that did reduce the build diversity according to many in the community and myself is specifically the deletion of warmind cells along with the consolidation of the charge with light system and the elemental well system that birthed the armor charge system on its face i think armor charge can be a better system than charge with light and elemental wells but there just isn't enough variety in the mods we're given. At least mods that can change how you play the game. I've talked in the past about bringing back elemental orbs from Season of the Witch as an armor mod system, and I still like that idea as a different way to build your character. But I really wish there was a way for us to emphasize the S in FPS. Like, we have guns, and we grind for better guns, but the closest option we have to focus on guns in our build is Gunslinger Hunter. And I guess the other solar subclasses, kinda, I guess, but it's like not a big focus. It's just kind of like an afterthought. That's part of it. Maybe we could see a world where legendary armor from endgame activities could have armor set bonuses you know like the old gambit prime sets did they could buff and affect a variety of things whether it's cooldowns weapon stats movement speed the gates are wide open and it would give people a reason to care about armor and grind for it bungie has experimented a bit with this idea before of course with the old gambit prime arbor but also in season of the wish we had artifact mods that gave bonuses for using Season of the Wish armor and using multiple pieces of Season of the Wish armor. The closest thing we have to this idea now would be origin traits on weapons, but also like the Iron Banner armor and the Seasonal armor giving you buffs to the economies of those activities. But I'm talking about more gameplay loop affecting stat buffs but more really cool and unique weapon synergies might help this. Not just things like Necrotic Grips with Weapons of Sorrow or Exodirus with Moth Keepers. I want more of that stuff, don't get me wrong. And of course, 
we we got to include you know celestial nighthawk and still hunt that is part of that big you know exotic armor piece exotic weapon help each other out i think that stuff is amazing and super cool and i want to see more of that but i also want to think of things kind of more like sturm and drang yes it it's not it didn't keep up with the times and i would love to see buffs to sturm and a probably a complete rework but you know it's a very cool idea and i want to see more things like that and also the root of nightmares weapons and the Echo's artifact has pale heart weapons get better the more you have. Like, those origin traits buff each other the more weapons you have with them. Maybe we also see some exotics take on those origin traits to buff up those weapons more. That are, of course, thematically fitting or from the same activity, whatever it be. And maybe we can extend these inter-legendary weapon synergies past just origin traits and we could do some cool stuff with these legendary perks especially the ones that have been left behind by the introduction of our 3.0 subclasses and the bombardment of keywords on our weapons bit of a weird idea kind of odd you know just just walk with me here okay think about if you have a weapon that has rampage on it okay you proc rampage and then you swap to another weapon it has onslaught maybe it converts those stacks over to onslaught or you get a short duration of having that weapon out where you still have rampage from the other weapon so the buff stack like they used to as a little nod to how onslaught originally worked and it helps buff both of those damage perk mods on weapons that are different you know, so it encourages you to play a specific way that is outside the norm and isn't just applying debuffs and buffs. It gives you a different way to play and think about how you are building your loadout and your character. Plus, it's, you know, just a little nod, a little Easter egg. And there's other ways we could do this. You know, maybe we bring back Magnamera and it gets buffed by Dragonfly or vice versa both ways. We could see that with Desperado and Outlaw. Maybe they have better synergy together or something. I think it would be interesting to see these things and how legendary traits can buff other legendary traits, especially the ones that do not have any connection to the 3.0 keyword system. The perks that are mostly falling behind. I guess, kind of capping off this video, uh, what I'm saying is we don't just need new aspects and new abilities. Now, don't get me wrong. I want more of that stuff. I would love more of that stuff. But we just kind of can't do much other than spam abilities right now. Maybe cooldowns or damage need nerfs. I would rather not do that. But, you know, that feels bad to do. Especially if there's no alternative to abilities. If our weapons are still down and the best things on them are keywords and keywords and abilities got nerfed it just feels bad so bringing up these old perks giving us ways to spec more into like kinetic damage types and doing you know more with our weapons in our build that aren't necessarily just well this build is really good with overshield so i want a weapon with repulsor brace to get more overshield that's kind of how build crafting ends or i'm on solar or prismatic incandescence good incandescence is just period good but you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying we need more variety in the perks that we can comfortably use constantly and how we change how we build i would love war mind cells back i would love elemental orbs back a new system whether it's separate from armor charge or honestly i think it would be better if it branched from armor charge like it uses the armor charge system as a framework to balance around and then it does unique things that aren't just well your cooldown shorter your abilities da -da -da, you know different ways to alter our builds based off of armor charge Again, this is stemming from the part of my brain that really likes making magic decks. I can see how different parts work together 
to work as a cohesive deck or to, in a way, express a personality. You know, whether it's my personality or the personality I want to push through the build, if that makes any sense. But, yeah, tell me your thoughts down below. Do you think we need more ways to build craft? Do you think build crafting's in an okay state? Again, Prismatic is a lot better than what we are facing in Lightfall. But, you know, generally on Hunter, it's you're invisible all the time and your golden gun does a lot of damage. Warlock has a lot more leniency, and Titan is the prismatic build. Is it the best build? Eh, but it's the build. Anyways, tell me your thoughts down below in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, maybe consider joining, you know. Uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.